Hey everybody, welcome to the QCast. My name is Rob Helt. I'm here to give you those little tips and tricks and techniques and things that we all use over here at OnQ and you may or may not be aware of. And that's what this QCast is all about. Now, this does not supplement for training at all. If you haven't gone through the OnQ training, that's something that you should definitely take a look at doing. You can find that right on our website on qtech.com. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and move into what we're talking about today, and that is notebooks. Let's go ahead and run over now to our main on cue monitor, and let's talk about what we've got going on here. I have pre prepared a couple of saved annotations. Here I have a white filled rectangle to create a pseudo redaction there. And then I have this one as well. Then on the next document, I have one more right there. And what I want to show you in notebooks is really going to deal with these annotations because they're so important to deal with. I'm going to hit new notebook here. Just create a new notebook and we're going to call this one moving. That's all we're going to call it. It's just moving. Now I'm going to take this right here and open my selected notebook right here. And what I want to do is I want to just create a notebook. So I'm going to take this whole document and notice I've got the whole thing and put it in. I'm also going to put in this document and let's take this one right here except for this one let's just take the annotation okay and so now that we have that done I'm going to push F9 just refresh my database you don't have to do that I just like clearing this little area out over here I don't like those to be dropped down like this so when I hit F9 it's just an easy way to toggle those to do that what I want to show you is taking your notebook right now and exporting it to someone else. If I have a case that I'm working on and someone across the country from me has that same case, meaning they have those same documents, they have the same IDs, right? The D1 through the P's. They have the same IDs, they have the same documents. What they don't have, though, is this notebook that I built, and I want to show you something really cool about this. You can take this notebook, you can right click it, you can go down to export and you can choose to export notebooks. Now when you export notebooks, what's really good about this is you've got two options under your export as right here. Your first option is a notebook package. The next is a text file. We'll talk about the text file in a minute, but the notebook package what this does is this allows me to export that file and that file will then go into my exports folder in the demo case on my C drive on this machine. It's called moving.ocp. It's right there. Now, here's what I want to show you. If I take right now and I pretend as if I am the person on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and delete this notebook out of my system. Not only am I going to delete the notebook, I'm going to go ahead and delete the annotations because if I'm the other person, I wouldn't have those anyway. You made them on your machine and you're sending them to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those. So now once I delete these, they're gone. And at this point, I have not quite the same database as I had before. So now I'm going to pretend that I'm that person across the country that has to receive this notebook that was exported. So I've received the notebook. Now what I'm going to do is right click and choose import notebooks. I'm going to go ahead into my exports folder and choose moving.ocp. Now that notebook has been brought in. Notebook is, is complete. It's there. There it is right there. Because see, it didn't show up in that notebooks tab because that was the one that I had to show this selected. So I'm going to look at this now and look, all of the notebook came in, but guess what else it brought? It brought the highlights with it. The OnQ package, the OCP file, it will take those annotations and bring them along with the content information it needs to build that notebook. Also, one other thing, if you don't know about this, you can right click, you can choose export, you can go to export notebooks once again, and this time choose notebook text file right under here. And when you do this, what this will do is this will give you a text file of what you have 
inside of that notebook based on ID. So we have D1, D3, and then we have Defendant's Exhibit 2, page 1, Annotation 1, inside of there. Those are the tips and tricks that we use. I know that one's been around for a long time, but we like people to, you know, really get into playing with this stuff. And maybe you haven't done some of those extra things that if you practice this, it will give you an edge on preparing. It will give you an edge in the courtroom. It will give you an all around edge as a trial technology consultant. So for all of us at OnQ, thank you so much for being users. You have no idea without you. I wouldn't be able to do this, and this is something that I love to do. So we'll see you next week here on the QCast.